When rewiring a house, you need to get permits. It can be dangerous to do electrical work without the proper permits, and you could be charged a hefty fine. Older homes do not have as many electrical needs as newer ones, so their service panels were smaller. In fact, a 1920s home would have a 60-amp service panel, whereas a 200-amp home has 200 amps. The most expensive rooms to rewire are the kitchen and bathroom, which require grounded outlets and complicated installations. A new electrical service panel can add $1,300 to $3,300 to the total cost. These panels are designed to carry enough power to run modern appliances. Rewiring can leave your house looking like a giant block of Swiss cheese. It may take a week to complete. You may even have to stay out of the house for a few days or weeks, so you should plan accordingly. The rewiring process costs about $1,402 per square foot, with an average cost of $655.2281. The price will vary based on the size of the house and whether the new wiring will replace outdated wiring. If you're updating an older home, you might need knob and tube wiring, which requires a lot more repair and labor. The cost of rewiring a house varies from $555 to $2,281, so the price will depend on the age and size of the house. The cost of rewiring a house varies depending on the number of devices and appliances in the home. Some homes have crawl spaces that are easy to access. In these cases, crews have to access the attic to complete the work. Rewiring a house requires a lot of expertise, but it can be a worthwhile investment. After all, you'll never know if you're dealing with aluminum wiring or old breakers. Rewiring a house is a large process that requires a lot of planning and preparation. It can take anywhere from 3 to 10 days to complete the work. And while the process might seem like a simple job, it's a complicated job that can lead to costly damages. Rewiring a house can be an extremely expensive project, but it's well worth it if you need it done right. Rewiring a house can be expensive, but if you want to do it yourself, you can save money by doing it yourself. It doesn't have to be a big job, just a bit of time. Rewiring a house can be done yourself without any professional assistance. Whether you hire a professional or do it yourself, you should be sure to read the building codes before hiring an electrician. If you're renovating a home, it's important to rewire it before you decide to sell it. A new house can be wired without tearing down walls. The average cost is between $1,600 and $3,800 for a new house, and the cost is dependent on how many rooms it has. For a 3,000 square foot house, it's easy to see why rewiring is an essential part of any home. Rewiring a house costs about $1,500 to $10,500. However, the actual cost depends on many factors, including the size of the home, the number of rooms and the amount of wire. This is the most common question, so make sure you have adequate budgeting knowledge and find someone who can complete the job safely. If you don't have the experience, you can hire a professional to do it for you. The cost to rewire a house is generally between $50 and $100 per square foot, including labor and material costs. Usually, the price of rewiring a home can range from $1,500 to $8,000 if it's being done by a licensed electrician. While this isn't a DIY project, it's definitely a good idea to hire a licensed electrician who has the proper training and experience to ensure that the work is up to code.